kitchen floor. So keeping in mind that this entire text is going to be all about what you would see if you traveled down to the very bottom of the ocean floor. But we were focused more on the nonfiction text features that are included in this article and how they helped us to better understand the information presented. We've learned that oftentimes nonfiction text features, whether they're diagrams or charts or captions or bold words or even a glossary, they add additional information that's not always right here in the text. Right? We saw that example yesterday with those fish in the fish tank, even though it was a very short paragraph, but we were able to see that in addition to what we learned in the text, we also learn more from that graphic. So yesterday you guys had this text to read and you looked at these two features and now we're just going to take some time to go over that graphic organizer. You had to focus, let's see the directions here. You were focused on two areas and then what the diagrams show. So it said here to use information about the abyssal plain in the Mariana Trench to complete the chart below. Identify what you learned from the text and what you learned from each diagram. So when we went here to this section all about this plane, I can see that in bold words right here. So when I go to the text, I could almost copy and paste what it said about the abyssal plain, right? In time you'll reach the plain, a dark realm with very deep valleys called trenches. So if I were going to complete the graphic organizer, I would include exactly that information. In time, you'll reach the abyssal plain, a dark realm with deep valleys called trenches. Okay. So I guess I'm going to reach this plane and then there's this, it's a very dark area, right? It's like very, very low and it's got these deep valleys that are called trenches. So now I needed to kind of shift my focus from what I just read in the text now to this diagram. So what does the diagram show me? Well guys, if you look closely, you can see the blue here that represents the ocean. And then we obviously shift from like the continent to the shelf, to the slope, to the abyss, back up to the ocean ridge, all the way down to that plain. Do you see where the water changes color? See how it's darker here? And then we go all the way down into these trenches. So again, if the title of this is Features of the Ocean Floor, I'm learning about the abyssal plain, and in the text all I learned is that we reach this area and it's a dark realm with deep valleys. Now I can kind of look more at this graphic and I can see that it's showing me that now the water, it's, it's, we're down here in the deepest part, right, in this area, and then we reach these super low areas or these valleys that are called trenches. So what the diagram shows is that the ocean trenches are the deepest places on the ocean floor deeper than an abyss. So we can see the abyss right here, then we go even further down into the abyssal plain, and then right here we can see that even then as we approach these trenches that they're even further down than right here with the abyss and the abyssal plain. Now we're going to switch over to the Mariana Trench. We know that was like in the second section of the text and we learned that the deepest ocean trench in the world is the Mariana Trench in the Pacific. So that's exactly what I am going to copy here. The deepest ocean trench in the world is the Mariana Trench in the Pacific. That's what the text has shared with me, or that's what I learned from the text. Um, it is one of the most difficult places to reach on Earth. I could also include that here. It is one of the most difficult places to reach on Earth. So that's what they've included here, but now when I look at this diagram, I can see what is it that they're showing me? Well, I learned in the text something about Mount Everest, and I see Mount Everest here, but what they told me is that I know Mount Everest is one of the tallest mountains in the world. So if you pick it up and you set it, boop, 
down in this Mariana Trench, basically what it's saying is that the top of Mount Everest, as tall as it is, would still be covered by water. So now when I look back at this diagram titled Highest and Deepest Places on Earth, the highest I know they're referring to is Mount Everest. But then the deepest they're referring to right here is the Mariana Trench. And I can see that right here, this like snow-capped part, that's the top of Mount Everest. And I can see the water level right here is still covering. So to be exact, I even want to look at some of the numbers. They're measuring in miles. I can see that Mount Everest, if I looked at the very top right here, if I traveled over, that would be between five and six miles. So Mount Everest is about five and a half miles tall. So the top of Mount Everest measures about 5.5 miles in height. Oops, it would help if I spelled that correctly. Now the other part that I learned is that the Mariana Trench is about and if we look right here, the water level, it starts a little over six and a half, so it's almost seven miles. So the Mariana Trench is almost, or we could say is just over 6.5 miles deep. Now again, that's what I learned from this visual. It's additional information. It did help me understand what they were saying in the text about if you put Mount Everest down into the trench, how it would still be covered with water. But the additional information that I got were the measurements. And again, I think that was the purpose of this diagram, obviously to help you understand the putting the mountain down in the trench part, but also more specifically, just how tall Mount Everest is in comparison to how deep the Mariana Trench is. So that's the information that I learned from this article in addition to what I read, just looking at these two features. Um, I know that there was also a question here. It's kind of more of like a personal opinion. Why do you think the author presented certain information visually rather than in words? Your response could be rather different from Mrs. Body's, but for me, I believe that the author presented certain information visually rather than in words because it is easier to understand the structures on the ocean floor oops, with the visual. If the author only gave the measurements of Mount Everest and the Mariana Trench, it might be more difficult to create this visual in the reader's mind. So that's just my own personal thought. Your, um, your response might be a little bit different and that is okay. Today you guys are going to read a different text. It is titled Going Down, Down, Down. And you are going to complete a graphic organizer very similar to the one that you did today, talking about what you read in the text and then what you see in the diagram. It's also going to talk about the ocean levels and the three main zones that are in the ocean. Um, after that, you have a couple multiple choice questions and then a short response question you're going to answer. Let me know if you have any questions. Great job on this.